Welcome everyone to my humble channel where I'm about to get a house built up here in gorgeous Tennessee. It is very hot in February. Let's get into this. A lot of people think that they could just do a carnivore diet and I talk about carnivore a lot. And that is because it's trending just like keto did years ago. And people jumped on the keto wagon. They didn't mind their electrolytes. They ate too much protein. They ate nuts and cheese. They drank coffee, which people are doing on carnivore. Same thing. But this time there's no plants. See, because during the keto days, the plants really weren't a big to do. It was the junk food, the sweeteners and the nuts because we, you don't have nuts on a keto diet and drinking the coffee and the cheese. And those things are still in carnivore except for the nuts. The thing that trips me out is the same, it's like the same cycling behavior that if you criticize veganism or ketoism or snake dietism or fasting isms and now carnivore, people have a come apart. They have a complete stage five meltdown. You're wrong, you're wrong. And even though I do the videos, the interviews, the real people with real stories, people still are denying other people's experiences and probably their own. There's things that you have to consider. It is not just about a dang diet. Getting some vitamin D on the skin because a lot of you don't during the winter. And all of these hormonal and metabolic processes must require vitamin D. People don't consider that. People don't realize that things like organ meats are so important to get nice levels of vitamin D, E, A, and K, zinc, copper, selenium that you would get in foods like liver. Or what about diamine oxidase, di di dies. What about diamine oxidase in thymus and kidney for those who have histamine intolerance, mast cell activation, and of course, the leaking gut because eating a bunch of ribeyes alone is not going to fix the problem. I've done countless videos expressing, look how pretty it is back here. I've done countless videos expressing the problems like chronic dehydration. That means when you're dehydrated, it doesn't matter how much water you drink, you can experience problems by losing minerals. That is the reason why organ meats are so important. But these cult-like diet zealot people, what's up Juno, how you doing? You wanna say hello to people? Donkeys are amazing by the way, they're just very skittish. So the phone for him is a monster. The monster, he wants to say hello, but if the phone too close, he's like, oh my God, it's a monster. Yeah. You're so cute. You have to consider a lot of stuff. How much cortisol have you been bathed in your whole life? Because I do consultations where more and more women are going through menopause too early, hot flashes, low testosterone, no sex drive, vaginal dryness, and men don't even get me started. Low testosterone, low sex drive flat muscles, balding, gut issues, diarrhea. I mean, the list goes on and on. That's my puppy I found under my camper. Deo and Juno, the donkey, have created a cute little relationship. That's so cute. I'm outside, I'm using my body, 
I'm getting fresh air, right? No skid marks in the sky. You know what I'm talking about. I put it in a well. People don't think about the mycotoxins, the fluoride. I mean, the plastics, the chemicals, the plastic in the clothing. These are endocrine disruptors. So if you think that you can just do a carnivore diet and voila, it's a miracle. We all know that all diets come and they go. That's how life treats us. Things go in cycles. And all diets go in cycles. Hey, Junos. Hey, she, Junos. The ears go back. Those are happy ears. Or if the ears go back, it's fighting time. Getting vitamin C, exercising. I mean, Sean Baker exercises, which is amazing. And who else? Paul Saladino, he does a lot of workouts. And of course, a lot of them do. But working out with intention, breathing properly, knowing when to work out, knowing how to detox some of these the plastics or the cortisol, why you're waking up in the middle of the night. I'm 50 freaking six years old, fully natty, no HRTs. Because yeah, you gotta put on, put in the work. Huh, Ned Junior? You gotta put in the work, huh? And a lot of people are trying to take the Ozemp, Ozemp click, the Ozemp click, pharmaceutical interventions. People are trying to shortcut their way into life. See, there's nothing more rewarding than struggling and then going through joy. You can't have joy unless you have pain. And people keep using these diets to, because they're expecting miracles. Everyone is different. No one has the same epigenetic makeup, no one does. So if you think that you're gonna do amazing because your neighbor did amazing on a carnivore diet, you are surely mistaken. If you look at the comments in my shorts, my especially my video shorts, well, blah, 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 is doing amazing. He's done it for 20 years. And it's scary how duped people can get I said, everybody can hide on the internet, including myself. Everyone can hide. Trust me, don't trust anyone. The whole point is to do your own due diligence. Do put, put in the work. Use these people as vessels or vesicles <laughs> to do the deeper dive. I coach carnivore. I just don't coach it for the long term. I don't even coach keto for the long term unless all your ducks line up. You can do a carnivore diet, you just gotta make sure you involve a matrix, right? Well, not the matrix, that, that Deo's, Deo's chewing on a freaking walnut. <sighs> These guys are hungry. He's a vegan. Although he's not, I can feed him pork rinds. He'll eat that all day. What's up, doo-doo? You got flies on you. This is thunder. This is my heart and joy. This is my baby. You give me a kiss. Kiss mommy. Oh my goodness, you gave me a kiss. Can you kiss mommy? Bubba. Kiss. Bubba. I took off your fly mask. I shouldn't have taken it off. It's too warm, flies are out. And Thunder's cancer is almost gone. Yes, Thunder had cancer. Well, he had cancer when I got him. Came back because they didn't get it all. It's going away now. Huh, doo doo. Oh, doo doos. Oh, I love you. These animals give me so much joy. You guys have no idea. I mean. People are afraid to stand behind them. I go, none of my equine, no donkey, no horse, kicks. None of them do. 
because they trust people now because they get love. Huh, Bubba's? Huh, Bubba's? Oh, yeah. The Thunder was super abused. When I got him, huh? People don't walk right. They don't move their body. They don't get out the toxins out of the, their lymphatic system. I mean, there are there is so many parts to being healthy that's way beyond freaking eating steaks. I don't get people. They become so obsessed with these, become zealots about their diet. I don't, I'm not a zealot. I'd never do what I eat in a day. Those are all trending videos. I get it asked so much. I show videos of things that I eat, but people want to see it put together in a day. So I'm going to do a what I eat in a day video disclaimer that I'm different because I build muscle. My ass is 56. I can overeat protein slightly and not have it store as fat. And that's the problem with people. They have a difficulty regulating their blood sugar. People keep challenging me, go get a glucometer and test your blood sugar. Fast it on an empty stomach in the morning for four weeks. Then test your blood sugar two hours after a meal, random meals, and then test your ketones. And then get a urine strip to make sure that your blood sugar and your ketones are in alignment and then that your urine strip is clear because if it's purple you're losing ketones i know i hate to say it but being healthy fixing your leaking gut or any type of itis that you have is not just about friggin eating steaks it's not it's everything. If anybody tells you that eating sodium nitrate hot dogs is safe, they're tripping. And it, it you're not going to heal your, heal your body if you don't put the time in and know what your existing health is and, and know and, and do the deep dive. And yes, the Costco, Sam's Club, meat, Ralph's, Kroger's is garbage. And it does make the difference on getting healthy. And if you can't afford it, then get some chickens and get some pasture <laughs> eggs. We all have choices. Excuse me? For those who don't know, I'm from Hollywood, California. I didn't like my environment. I didn't like the slovid, plovid garbage. You know, I use the code word, slovid. Charade Ronabona. I didn't like it. I didn't like what's happening to the state, so I left. And I had thunder already, and I stuck him on a trailer, and we went to Texas. I didn't know where I was going. People that I stayed with, I didn't know these people. I took a risk, and it was awful at first. It was absolutely, hey, these two. It was such a bad experience, but you can't have joy without pain. A lot of tragic things happen. This one almost died. And not from cancer, from other things. So, I'm going to do a whole video on what their ears are telling you. Oh, he's going to kick me. He's going to kick me. <laughs> he's going to kick me. Oh, my goodness. No risk, no reward. No risk, no reward. I mean, there's been so many times where I've, I was broke as frack. When I left LA, it was the undiscovered, like new land, new territory. I had no idea what was going to happen. And what I tried to avoid happened. I said, if my horse doesn't die, then I'm not going to complain about nothing. I'm going to make everything happen. When I left Texas, or when I was in, I didn't know where I was going to go. And then I had all of these guys. Little Luke over there. It's my pony. He's not a donkey. He's a pony. 
I didn't know where I was gonna go. I didn't have a truck. I didn't have anything to pull these animals. I had no idea where I was gonna go. And I wasn't making that much money at the time. So you make it work somehow. You make it work. I'm putting the phone on his butt. I kind of feel like there's no excuse with your health. You don't have to go to Sam's Club. You don't have to go to the 99 cent store. We have choices. If you don't know how to make the money, learn how to. If you don't know how to get healthy, learn how to. Don't take one single guru as the, you know, the messiah of diets. No one is, not me, not anybody. But I tell you one thing, you better change your whole life because you can eat steak all day long and develop a lot of problems. Lots of problems done a ton of videos about it but you got to change your whole life this is what I did I wanted to be have clean air clean water healthy food I wasn't gonna get that in Los Angeles mm -mm. and I took a risk and I worked my ass off and I got this right and I do it all by myself all of it I am using that to transfer because I don't have a tractor so when I'm trying to landscape and fix things I've made like 10 runs with that pile of creek rock to fill in divots and holes and potholes so when I do lay down gravel for a road it won't be sinking in these divots and it's back breaking and then I fenced the entire 10 acres Several times over by myself. Cut the frack out of my hands. It's got to get done. I've been exhausted. I've been going against my own advice, staying up too late. But soon, this house is going to get built. And then I've reached my utopia. And I'm just going to enjoy it. Yeah. You can't have joy without pain. You have to have something to strive for. Don't make your life too safe. That's the problem. Don't stay addicted to your coffee. Don't stay addicted to your routine. Don't eat the same thing every freaking day. On Junos. You enjoy the junkies. All right, I better get to work. Comment below. Tell me if this resonates with you about, like, it's not just about diet. It's your mindset. It's getting out all those forever chemicals out of your body. It's not taking HRTs because, you know, you have no sex drive or you're tired. Especially for women. I don't care what person or what guru or what doctor says that that's okay. People are so easily duped. Be careful. Be careful for everyone. And I'm out. If you guys want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com and book a consultation. For those who have faith in me, I'm your girl. For those who don't, bye. <laughs> and I run a course where I cover all three diets because I'm realizing not all of you can do carnivore. Not all of you can do carbs. And not all of you can do keto. So we have a choice within the three. And I teach you how to change your lifestyle, balance your hormones, work out, all those types of things. Stay positive, get excited for the future, no matter how much those fluckers try to ruin us. We gotta stand together. Stop fighting with each other. Yeah, comment below and share this content because this is my humble life. Because if it wasn't, I would be promoting fruit and HRTs and coffee and eating tons of meat. But I don't. Peace.